Um, we're going back to 1960, right? It's today in history, um, the day where Nigeria um, became independent. We basically, you know, became independent after decades of British rule. Um, it was a very interesting time in Nigeria's history. There's been this clamor for independence. And um, eyewitnesses there said that um, just before the stroke of midnight, the um, British flag was basically um, lowered down. And then when it was midnight, the lights were switched back on again. And we saw the green, red, green Nigerian national flag um, standing there majestically for all to see. Um, the celebration for independence took place for weeks, for weeks on. And here in Nigeria, here in Lagos, it went on for, um, it, the celebration occurred at the Tafabulewa Square, um, right here in the city. So interesting times for Nigeria, getting independence, um, lots of events leading up to that period. And we know what happened seven years later when you know, there was an agitation for a breakaway state. But it was in this day in history that um, we became independent under a constitution that provided for a parliamentary um, system of government and uh, a substantial measure of self-government for the three regions in the country at that time. Um, the federal government received exclusive powers um, for defense, foreign relations, and commerce, as well as fiscal policy. Um, the UK retained the British monarch, Queen Elizabeth II, as nominal head of state and the Queen of Nigeria. Um, three years later, in 1963, Nigeria um, became a republic. But uh, yes, that uh, coup definitely still part of our history, um, 1967. Yeah, um, 1960, uh, 1967 now. Uh, we became a republic in 1963. 63, yes. Yeah. Um, so independence, 1960, and then a republic, 1963. Four years later, civil war. And, of course, the journey has just continued to be, you know, sometimes smooth, sometimes rocky uh, since then. Uh, there's, of course, uh, been people who have made the uh, history, the person who designed the Nigerian flag, the person who, you know, of course, uh, uh, wrote the Nigerian national anthem, you know, and um, all the people who have played, you know, a very, very interesting role in the journey that we currently have been in, you know, from military rule and eventually now to democratic rule. Um, of course, there was a brief stint of uh, democratic rule before, of course, uh, there was a coup um, in the 80s. Um, um, Shehu Jagger was overthrown by um, a military officer. <laughs> Military officers back then, and eventually, um, it it's it's been you know a mix of emotions to be honest. And uh, there's also those who would say that 1960 maybe never should have happened the way that it happened. Uh, the joining of these regions, um, and of course, uh, Lord Lugard's influence and some of all of that shouldn't have happened. Um, you know, the, the three regions weren't meant to be together in the first place, and maybe we would have been, um, maybe we would have grown at you know completely different paces. Um, over time, there's those who have who had projected back then that Nigeria would have been, you know, one of the fastest. Of, actually, at that time, was one of the fastest growing nations um, in that period. But you know, corruption, mismanagement, coups, you know, tribalism, some of all of that have just been um, some of the things that have completely slowed down the growth uh, uh, trajectory of Nigeria. But here we are today, celebrating 61 years um, after independence and. I guess um, Nigerians themselves, like Judy Johnson mentioned, one thing to celebrate is the fact that we have stayed together for those 61 years. President Mohamed Abari said this morning, uh, Nigeria's unity is non-negotiable. And we'll talk about that uh, after this uh, short break with our guest who will be joining us to review once again uh, Nigeria's independence after 61 years.